I try to live like an Indian, as you see. It's stupid, of course. Because in our country, it is the British who decide how an Indian lives. What he may buy, what he may sell. And from their luxury, in the midst of our terrible poverty, they instruct us on what is justice, what is sedition. So, it's only natural that our best young minds assume an air of Eastern dignity while greedily assimilating every Western weakness as quickly as they can acquire it. If we have home rule, that'll change. Mm. Would you please? Why should the British grant this home rule? Here, yeah, we must take the peelings to the votes. We only make wild speeches or perform even wilder acts of terrorism. We've bred an army of anarchists, but not one single group that can really fight the British anywhere. Hello, hello. But I thought you were against fighting. Now, just spread it around. There you are. <laughs> they like the new peelings mixed in with the rotting ones. Where there's injustice, I've always believed in fighting. The question is, do you fight to change things or do you fight to punish? For myself, I've found we're all such sinners, we should leave punishment to God. And if we really want to change things, there are better ways of doing it than derailing trains or slashing someone with a sword. Fire is ready. You see, even here, we live under tyranny. What did I tell you? Look at him. I can see the British shaking now. 